As a future educator, I am really bothered that public schools are being targets for uh, mass shootings. Uh, two days ago was the 20th yeah. anniversary of the Columbine massacre, yeah. but still two decades later, no major gun control legislation has been passed. Yeah. So my question is, as president, how will you go about keeping our schools safe and keeping guns out of the hands of those who should not have them? Thank you, Ben. And I'm sure that there are plenty of students here who, while you were in um, high school, even middle school, that you had to participate in a drill, right? where you were convened and your teachers taught you about how you need to go and run in a closet because there may be a mass shooter roaming the hallways of your school. And in our America, that should never have to happen. Conversations take place every night. Conversations take place every night between students and their parents. Why do these things have to happen? Why do we have to have a drill like that? To which, of course, the response is because there are people in Washington, D.C., supposed leaders, who have failed to have the courage to reject a false choice, which suggests you're either in favor of the Second Amendment or you want to take everyone's guns away. Supposed leaders in Washington, D.C., who have failed to have the courage to recognize, you know what, you want to go hunting, that's fine. But we need reasonable gun safety laws in this country, starting with universal background checks and a renewal of the assault weapon ban. But they have failed to have the courage to act. So Ben, here's my response to you. Upon being elected, I will give the United States Congress 100 days to get their act together and have the courage to pass reasonable gun safety laws. And if they fail to do it, then I will take executive action and specifically what I will do is put in place a requirement that for anyone who sells more than five guns a year, they are required to do background checks when they sell those guns. I will require that for any gun dealer that breaks the law, the ATF take their license. And by the way, ATF, Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms. Well, the ATF has been doing a lot of the A and the T, but not much of the F. Mm. And we need to fix that. <laughs> and then... On the third piece, because none of us have been sleeping over the last two years, part of what has happened under the current administration is they took fugitives off the list of prohibited people. I put them back on the list, meaning that fugitives from justice should not be able to purchase a handgun or any kind of weapon. So that's what I do. Would this be your first executive action as president? Well, it depends on what else happens. That would be after 100 days. That, that'd be after 100 days. Let's see what happens in the first 100 days. All right. Days. Fair enough.